Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you how I created a Python API with Fast API. So the other day I had to do a POC. I wrote my Python program and I wanted to put an API layer on the front of that. The reason being that obviously an API is a lot easier to share with people rather than packaging up a Python program. I can just host a little web server and show them what I've built. So I started with my, my code, let's say something very simple like this, and you can run it as python3 starter.py, and it returns an object. How do I then add an API to return this value here? So I did what you probably would do in this situation. I loaded up my favorite search engine and I searched for it, and I found a couple of different options. Um, and and fast API was one that came up. So after a little bit of digging, you you get to this point. So the first thing you need to do is create a requirements.txt. And you're going to need three things: fast API, which is the sort of core modules that you need, Uvicorn, and Pydantic. So Uvicorn is the web server that we're going to use, and Pydantic is the data modeling validation part of of it. And then you need to run uh, pip3 install requirements.txt with the r flag, which is basically just saying, look at this requirements file and go install those modules. And then what you need to do is uh, take your Python code and wrap it in, add a, a couple of different things. The first is this from fast API import fast API. The second is this line here, app equals fast API. That's all you really need apart from line five, which is you need to decorate your function with at app, so that's obviously that, that bit there, dot get, so you're saying I'm gonna, this API endpoint is gonna be a get API endpoint, and I'm gonna do it on the root. And from there, it's very, very simple. You can run uvicorn dash dash reload, and all that reload flag does is if I make changes in the code, it will, uh, Uvicorn will notice that and restart my web server for me. It's very, very quick. It makes uh, developing and prototyping very easy. Obviously, if you're running in production, you can leave that flag off because you're not going to be making changes. The next part here is the uh, main underscore get. Now, that part there corresponds to the file name of the Python script. And then I put a colon and then the fast API app name. Now, in my case, that's app because that's the value that you see on line three. Go ahead and run that. And you can now open a browser or Postman or whatever you want and do a get. And you see there's your API. There's your get API endpoint. Really, really, really simple. Now, the other cool thing about Fast API, if you go to the uh, slash docs, it generates an open API specification for you. You can already see, you can play around with this in the browser. Now, if you're wondering how I knew it was port 8000, if you skip back here, it actually shows you the port that it's running on here. Okay, so let's do something a little bit more complicated. Let's say I not only want to do a get, but I actually want to do a post on this web server. So the first thing you need to do is import the Pydantic module. From Pydantic, import base model. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a particular object. Now this object is the thing that you're going to send in the post body uh, as a JSON object. So here I have my um, object has an ID, which is a string, a name, which is a string, and a value, which is a float. App is fast API, same as before. I've still got my get endpoint in there, but this time I've got a similar concept with an app.post. And this time I'm going to say anything that I post to the slash send endpoint, run this function. And in the parameters, I'm going to pass, I'm going to, you know, tell it to pass my object. And then I'm just for debugging purposes, for demo purposes, I'm just going to return a status of OK, and a received underscore object of my object. So once again, I will run uvicorn reload, uh, the name of the file this time, which is main underscore get underscore post, I will refresh my PI docs. And here I see post send, send things. And again, I can try it out. I can see, okay, my ID is 1234. My name is uh, Adam Gardner and my value is uh, 12. Execute. And if this works, I should get back a status okay and then whatever I sent it. 
And that's it. That is as difficult as it gets. The one thing I want to also show is that you have a redock endpoint. So if you prefer redock, you get this UI. If you prefer open API Swagger, uh, you get the, the other version. So that comes out of the box with fast API. So I hope this was useful. Go ahead and create. If you like it, click subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.